Hi, this is Maka, and you're watching The Monica Show. I do a lot of fun creative things. Have a look at this. I also did, I was also an assistant for a genre musician and I had fun with that, so look at this. Hello, I'm John Carrington and this is the Magic Box and this here is Monica. Say hi Monica. Hi. You didn't say Monica. Okay, anyway, Monica is here and she's going to help me with the comedy. <laughs> because you see, in magic you not only learn, but you learn how to use skills. Uh, for example, public speaking, uh, being creative, and also being interesting and providing people with entertainment. On the count of three, Monica, say, hi, Monica. Hi, Monica. Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. I go, whoa. <laughs> well, what do you know? It's our dub. Monica is uh, a young person like all of you who are watching TV. Everybody is young at heart. And you are curious about how things work. Well, on the count of three, Monica, say, hi, Monica, one, two, three, hi, Monica. The world works like this. The more you put into the world, the more you get out. You have to learn, you have to grow, and you have to expand in order to be on top of your world. I really enjoyed doing the team scene, and my favorite person was Dr. Mary Cleave. I think the most important thing is that we learn about all the women that were behind the scenes, not necessarily the ones that took the, all the awards and got the ribbons, but the ones that really helped um, to f be the behind the scenes work, to help push those who actually did take the award. I like coming here to look at the exhibits, especially when Mary Cleave came here. We talked about her when she went up in space and everything. And over there is her space suit that she actually wore up in space. I think that is really cool. Welcome back to another teen scene. I'm here with Dr. Mary Queen. So, you have a book about your life? Um, I do. This is a book that was written by Muriel Schloss. Um, it's called Mary Cleave Astronaut. It's from a series of books, actually, um, about a, a number of different women that had uh, careers like a veterinarian or a geologist. First person to engineer and operate the robot arm in space. Um, I would. I was not the first person to do that job, but I was um, the only person on my crew to do that job. And um, it was. Yeah, I mean, we always have a backup, but I was the person, the primary person to do it. So um, it, it was a really interesting job. I had never been. Uh, working that closely with robotics before, and I got really, really interested in robotics because of that job. Uh, so interested in robotics that when I left the astronaut corps, um, I actually changed from human space flight into robotic space flight and worked with robotic spacecraft for the rest of my career. So for me, that one job made a huge difference. So you've been an astronaut since 1980? I was an astronaut uh, from 1980 until 1991, and I retired when I moved up to Goddard and started working on robotic space program. Can you tell us about some more of your experience? In space? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I flew two space flights, and the first one was, uh, I was a flight engineer, and I operated the arm, and, it, and then I grew crystals for 3M, and um, we had a lot of fun. But one of my crewmates, Rodolfo, near Bella, was from Mexico, so, uh, we got to go to Mexico. I also like to produce and create, and here's a little skit I did. Have a look at this. Hi, I'm Tessa. And I'm Tina. And we are watching the Tessa and Tina Show. Hi, how are you? I'm Tessa. Would you like to join us? I would enjoy that very much. Thank you. And I'm Tina. So what do you do when you're not in school? No, I'm very practice on the sports I do. What about you? 
Oh, I mostly hang out with friends and play outside. What sports do you do? I do basketball, volleyball, cross country, and softball. Wow, that's a lot. All I do is volleyball track, and I'm on the swim team. Oh, I wish I could join the swim team, but I do. I do enough sports already. When do you have time for homework? I do it at night before I go to bed. Oh, I would be really tired, but hey, maybe we can hang out sometime. Yeah, that would be cool. But sorry, I have to go. I have softball. Oh, okay. Bye, then. Hmm, I wonder if she knows about my psychic abilities. Hmm, I wonder if she sends my psychic abilities. Hey, Tina, let's go into the haunted house. Hmm, Tessa, I wonder if you're aware of my psychic abilities. I thought so, and I have psychic abilities too. Let's go. Wow, so what do you think? I think it's pretty scary. Hmm, Tessa, I think I sent something. Oh, I feel it too, but I don't think it's going to be good. Ghost. Hey ghost, stop trying to scare us. Who are you and why are you haunting this place? I think I know who you are. You lost your head a long time ago, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Who are you and what do you want? Why do you laugh? They cut off my <laughs> oh, what the witch fell in the ditch. She picked up a penny and she thought she was rich. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Let's go do it again. Not right now. Let's play basketball. You're watching the Test and TV show. Hope you enjoyed the fun. I have fun learning how to do a screenplay. I like working with children, especially the Children's Corner. Hi, I'm Monica, and I really like the Children's Miracle Network because they help all kids who need help, and it's really nice to have kids know that they have people that will help them. So let's have a look. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals helps more kids and their families than any other children's charity. Learn how you can make miracles happen by visiting cmnhospitals.org. I like to sing and dance, so let me show you. Let's welcome our next performer to the stage, Monica Strom. This little light of mine, I'm a witch 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 shine.
I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Shining. If people want to shine more light, how do they get in touch with you? By an email address, htherm at rorada.com. I learned a lot of things about the Women's Center and the women's rights. Have a look at this. Hi, my name is Paul Hunt. And I'm Martha Stern. Welcome to an episode of Teen Scene. Today's topic is based on school and teachers. Don't just say no, we'll be right back. Scene. This is a woman who dressed in the old days. It was women like these who helped us get the right to vote in our country. I really like her hat with this black veil on it and looks really pretty. Look at all the paint on her sash. She did a lot. If it wasn't for women like this, they probably still wouldn't be able to vote. What do y'all think? We should change our homework. I think we should just have a little less homework and not so so time consuming after school. Yeah, because every class has homework, so it just builds up all, like a lot at the end of the day. So I think each teacher should just give less. Yeah, I agree with that. Well, we should also have less homework because some kids are in in some sports after school and they need time to do homework and sports. That's, that's great, Monica. Hold on for a minute. We need to go on commercial break. I hope you enjoyed the show, and if you want to contact me, the number is on the screen. I really love to sing and dance. Let's get to our performers. Our first performer is Bria Simmons. Bria, would you please come up here? Simmons 7707 at Verizon.net. Bria, thank you very much. Hi, I'm Kaya and welcome to the Kaya Show. I have a lot of fun stuff to show you, so come along with me. Ooh. <laughs> I really love producing and creating. Let me show you something that I co-created. Hotel. 
I just love the ring of that. And I also can't believe they picked me as head chef. What are the chances of that? All the other chefs were good, but my friend Goulet was to die. Well, I should go set up now. I have a big day ahead. And I want my first impression to be a good one. Thanks for the hard Jack. The chandelier. It's all the hard work paid off. Maybe I'll finally get discovered by a housing agent and be the next big thing. Or a better set up. I don't want to risk making any mistakes. Nope, not today. Where do you look for the thing off? Great practice, guys. Those guys are amazing. And Terrence, the drummer, is awesome. If this keeps up, I might have myself a permanent job. Think about it. And now, performing every Saturday night, dropping in the rocket. Now that would be something. Oh, hey, Philip. I didn't know that you were uh, reaching here. Rocky, what a surprise! And I'm not ready to say I'm the head chef. What are you doing here? I got a gig here every Saturday night as the opening band. Rocky and the Rockets. It's my first day. You know, it's also my first day, so I would appreciate it if you didn't contact me whatsoever. You and I, we have a history of, uh, how do I put this? <laughs> Disasters. Oh, I see. I'll stay on stage, but you can't get rid of me. I can try. Peter, you burnt the steak, and Marky forgot the ice cream in the freezer, and it's all melted. And what's this? Kristen, the lettuce is the lettuce in the salad is soggy. I turn my back for one second, and now everything's ruined. They'll find me and call me a fraud. Ugh! How could this happen? Terrence, how could you break your drumsticks? Don't you have any extras? No. Be more prepared and Gary lost his lucky guitar pick and can't be broke for baseball. They'll find me on the spot. And we're scared with my music. She's sick and she can't even tell me. Ugh. Ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for our head chef who has been prepared in delicious meal. We love the superhero. And please welcome our opening band, Rocky and the Rockettes. Ready guys? It was a rhetorical question, dude. I guess we're going a cappella and singing if you're happy and you know it. Better than nothing. At least I can serve my creme brulee for dessert. Now to set it on fire. Hi guys, I'm Marky and these are the rockets. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four, a fire! Everyone out of the building, I'll save you. <laughs> you blew out my creme brulee! I thought you agreed to stay on stage. Sorry, I thought it was a fire. I'm beyond <laughs> embarrassed. This might as well just fire me now. Relax, it's not that bad. And if we're going to go out, we might as well go out singing. If you're, you're happy, you know, you know, clap your hands. <laughs> really fun learning how to write the screenplay. I had fun learning how to write the script. I really had fun on the children's corner. I love working with children. I love to sing and dance.
I really loved the teen scene. I really liked learning about women, women in our history. Like that. Yeah, it's it it's just like that where you're if you're in one of those you know areas where they have the wind the fans yeah, are pulling out. Yep, about. it's a lot like that. Except you don't have the wind resistance, so it's even easier. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Would you like jump around on the spaceship? Yeah, and you can just do any number of flips, but you have to be very careful because if you get stuck in the middle of the room and you can't touch anything and you stall out, then you're stuck there and you feel like an idiot. You guys say, "Can somebody come get me?" <laughs> <laughs> So you don't want to do that. So you got to make sure you push off, so you make it to whatever side you're going to. But yeah, but um, I mean, a lot of people might be afraid. I mean, are any of you afraid? I'm terrified of planes. I, I don't like riding in airplanes and stuff. Like I start to cry on takeoff. Yeah. And stuff. So how do you handle? Like, are you scared of flying? No. In, in fact, you're like my sister. I my my sister. She says that she got the anxiety genes for the both of us. Because I'm not afraid of anything, you know. So you have certain certain people have different personalities. So you're like my sister, and she doesn't like flying in airplanes, and she prefers to stay on the ground. And uh, I feel like I was born on the ground, and I shall die on, on the, the ground. ground. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, she's a psychotherapist, so you might want to look into that for a career. So. One of my favorite ladies that I learned about in this center was Rachel Carson. At the Maryland Women's Heritage Center, and I'm Leslie Weber. Today's episode is about Rachel Carson. Don't touch that remote. We'll be right back. I really loved hosting the teen scene, and my favorite guest was Zakaya. Oh, I've always been really interested by the space shuttle. It's an amazing vehicle. I mean, it can fly in space and land like an airplane, which is an amazing engineering design, really. There's nothing else at the time that's anything like it. So I just, I've really been interested in the, in the shuttle program, the missions that it's been able to do, and I just, it was fun to have kind of your own little shuttle that you can build. Can you explain like some of the parts on there? Um, sure, and it more or less looks like an airplane, so I mean it has wings, which it doesn't need when it's in space, but when it comes back down to the ground and lands, then it has to be able to fly, um, which it doesn't do the greatest job at, but it still um, is able to fly and they can land it on a runway just like any airplane that you'd take a trip on. Um, it also has kind of an area where they can store payloads that they would take up into space. They can take satellites, um, like the Hubble Space Telescope, and they can carry along um, components for building the space station. And it's really amazing as far as what it can carry. There's nothing else that has kind of that big of an area that you can take things into space. That's cool. Take a look at this. Now today's topic is homework. What do y'all think about it? I don't like it. I think some teachers give way too much. Teachers need to consider that students have other activities outside of school that they need to do after. I have a line. I don't want to sit there. 
work. I just did it in class for six and a half hours. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Just think about like no projects. I can't stand projects. They threatened to take our condiments away because last year they had a big fight. <laughs> And then all you saw was ketchup and mustard everywhere. So they threatened to take it away. I'm like, I'm going to eat my fries. <laughs> okay, y'all. Just wait, because it's, it's brilliant. Hi, I'm Brianne. I'm sharing about Lucy Stone. She loved to write and read, so when her father refused to buy her books, she sold blueberries and nuts from her family's farm. She married Henry Blackwell in 1855. And but kept her last name as Stone. It didn't change it to Blackwell. She published and wrote the Women's Journal. And when her and Henry Blackwell got married, they wrote their own wedding contract. Wow, I really did enjoy that. And one of my other favorite shows that I did was Captain Baltimore. Are you all having a good time today? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what's going on aboard the USS Constellation. We're all on the USS Constellation. Thanks for coming back. We're right here on the Baltimore Harbor where it's a beautiful weather outside, beautiful water, and beautiful live entertainment. Come on down and check it out. Coral. Yeah. Have you done any homework today? No. You mind telling me why not? I didn't feel like it. You don't feel like it? No. Do you know how your Aunt Peg Leg Peggy got her peg? I'm not doing our homework. Yeah, you know how your Uncle Billy got that patch for his eye? Not doing his homework. You care to know why the importance of homework is so important? Why? Look, teachers have a job. So do these students. Teachers are there to give you important information and you're there to soak it all in like a sponge. So that when you get in the real world and you get squeezed by life, you know what to do. All the good stuff comes out. You gotta do your homework. You understand? Let's do a demonstration. To me first make Cole who decided she wanted to do a little arts and craft projects on the tire just right around the ankles. Make sure your tire nice and tight. You don't want her to fall off. You wanna drag her for miles and miles. Then I take her like this. Haha! <laughs> and she over! Be nice to your classmates. You understand, Cole? Come here. Well, I really hope that you enjoyed all that you've seen. And if you want to contact me, the number is on the screen.